Hi and welcome to the video, I'm Dame and this is Dame Over and today's video is a bit inspired by the recent series I released on the skill cannons of Battlefield 1. I've linked all of those videos in the description if you want to check those out but today I've chosen to look at what I suppose is the opposite of the hard to use weapons and take a look at those guns that are the most annoying to get killed by which I have named the troll weapons. So if you find this video useful or entertaining make sure you hit that like button before you go and if you want to keep up to date with the rest of this series make sure you hit the subscribe button too. So first up for the troll weapons we've got the classic Hellregal 1915 factory. Now this is one of the more obvious choices as for a long time it was almost everybody's favourite weapon and was for a really long time until the TTK 2.0 patch considered to be the most overpowered weapon in Battlefield 1 and still is even to this day albeit to a lesser degree. So what makes the Hellregal Factory a troll weapon? Well, if we take a quick look at some of the stats and the characteristics of the gun, you can see why. First of all, it's got that 60 round mag, taking it to second place for most rounds available after a full reload in the assault class, following the SMG 08 18's 81 rounds, meaning that if you're lucky enough or skilled enough to manage a flank on an entire squad, you can usually take them out in one go without taking your finger off the trigger. The only real thing stopping you from doing that is the overheat which happens after 40 rounds have been fired consecutively, 10 more than the SMG 08-18 which overheats at 30. Now this might not seem too significant but if you remember almost all SMGs have a 4 shot to kill potential from within 12 meters so there is the potential if you are outrageously accurate to take out 10 players very quickly without taking your finger off the trigger. Now obviously this will probably never happen for anyone but even managing 6 or 7 players is enough to make you wonder if the Hellregal is still OP. Then there's the time to kill to consider. Now it's by no means one of the fastest to kill in the assault class anymore, especially after the addition of the Annihilator, both variants of the Machine and Pistola and the revamp to the SMG 08-18 to pick just a few. But neither is it a slouch in this department either. It still has the potential to pick up kills very quickly against most other loadouts. But we still not really hit on the main reason why it's a troll weapon and that is down to its ease of use. The Hellregal Factory is by far one of the easiest SMG to use in the assault class. It's an incredibly versatile weapon that doesn't have that much in terms of recoil to contend with unless you're shooting at very long range. It's got really strong hip fire and even at longer ranges if you burst fire you can take enemies out far out of SMG range. All of this with the knowledge that you've got plenty of rounds to play with and a pretty fast time to kill to back you up as well. Now I'm sure most of you would have used the Hellregal quite a lot by now, if not at least a few times, and I'm sure you can agree that the skill ceiling for doing well with the Hellregal is actually pretty low. It's not necessarily the best in any one situation, but with the potential to just spray and pray, coupling that with the decent stats, you always stand a good chance no matter how good you are at picking up a kill or two. Which is why so many players in Battlefield 1 get so incredibly frustrated when someone on the enemy team kills them with the Hellregal and they end up having 40 plus service stars with it. Now I just want to clarify before any of the hate messages come flying in, I believe you should be able to play Battlefield 1 and any video game in whatever way you choose using any weapons and any tactics. It's all part of the experience and if you enjoy only using the Hellregal and you've been doing it for the past year or so then stick to it. Whatever makes you happy I'm all for it. But it's the same reason we all get really annoyed when someone takes us out with one of the heavy bombers or a tank or an artillery truck and they end up having a hundred plus service stars with it. Sometimes it feels a little too much like the easy way out and honestly at least in my experience the heat is directed at myself because really I just wish I'd chosen to use that weapon as well. But that's just what I think. What do you guys think of the Hellregal Factory? Is it a troll weapon? Is it still overpowered? And do you think there are any other troll weapons in Battlefield 1? Make sure you let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And a quick thank you to those of you guys that are helping to support the channel through Patreon. It's because of you guys that I was able to maintain putting out content as often as I could before my channel got remonetized by YouTube, which happened the other day. So a really big thank you to you guys. It was because of you that I was able to keep the content coming and to keep the channel going. So if you guys want to become a patron yourself, I've left a link down in the description, I'll put one in the pinned comment and there's also a really handy button on the end screen that will take you straight to the Patreon page where if you'd like to you can help support the channel from as little as $1 a month. So if you had a good time make sure you hit that like button, if you're new around here hit the subscribe button too, make sure you hit the bell button so you can get notifications of any new videos, feel free to share this video with whoever and wherever you like. And until next time, that's Dame Over. Peace.